And we are back after what was probably the most entertaining day so far of women's football at these Euros. Um, certainly for the neutrals, I'm sure the French and English fans would have enjoyed their respective massive wins more. But for me, just watching the games casually, I thought it was an absolutely unbelievable day of action. Um, first half of the first game was a bit meh. But from that point onwards, it was non-stop drama right up until the final whistle of the second game where... The referee blows the full-time whistle when Portugal have a corner to draw level. Um, VAR was everywhere. We had two penalties ruled out in the first game, then one penalty awarded in the second game, all through due to VAR. And it was a day full of fighting from the underdogs. Not quite enough in the end, but a great response from Switzerland to going 1-0 down against Sweden and then... Portugal for the second game running, coming back from two goals down to pull it back to 2-2. And to be honest, it almost looked like they were going to go on and win that game. But in both games respectively, two absolute screamers from outside the box from Sweden and the Netherlands to eventually get the wins in the last 10 minutes. Just absolutely unbelievable day of action. A great advert for women's football for those of you who didn't see it by all means definitely go watch the highlights of yesterday's games they were very very entertaining and let's see what that did for the purpose of this series we'll run through how many points i got yesterday and then look ahead to match day nine and group d so let's have a little look right now obviously like we just said these were the two games these were my predictions i thought they would be a lot easier than they turned out to be for the two strong teams in the group. These, of course, were the results, uh, meaning that I do get a match day score of two, pushing the tournament score now up to 16. But um, again, really, really great day of football and um, very interested to see what happens in the final games. Can Switzerland or Portugal cause an upset in the final games or will it be Sweden and the Netherlands who get through? And even if they do, it is now still level on goal difference between them as well. The Netherlands just ahead by one goal scored at the moment going into the final day. So very, very nicely poised group there. Let's have a look at what's going to happen today in Group D. So we start off with Italy and Iceland. Italy obviously off the back of that humiliation from France. 5-0 at half time was a record until England did even more the next day. They need a response against Iceland and look, Iceland are no pushovers in women's football. This is going to be a really, really tough game for Italy. The only sort of gauge I have for this match is that Italy beat Iceland 1-0 in a friendly last year and then obviously what happened last week. So I'm actually going to go for a 1-1 draw in this one. I think Italy should still be the favourites but... Again, given what happened against France and given Iceland's dominance against Belgium, but not total end product, I think this is going to be a really tight one. And I am going to go for a 1-1 draw. As for the other game in the group, it is France against Belgium. And I mean, it's obviously going to be a France win. It just depends on how many. I mean, no disrespect to Belgium. Um, if they do manage to put a result, fair play to them. But this is going to be a France win. Um, I'm going to go out there. I've, I've tried to avoid going for the out there results. Um, it does happen a lot in women's football. Um, obviously, we saw it with France, Italy, and then England, Norway. I'm just going to go for 7-0. I think France will absolutely obliterate Belgium. Iceland had more than 20 shots against them and were unlucky not to score more than the one they scored last time out. France, a much stronger team, essentially the Lyon team that won the Champions League this year, up against the Belgian team that, as we just said, can see an awful lot of chances. So I think France win this one incredibly easy. I'm going to go for seven. I have no idea how many it will actually be. So I'm just going to chuck a big number out there. And that will be it for today. If you enjoy the content, please do consider liking and subscribing, sharing the video and ringing the bell to try and get as many people involved as possible. As always, I will put in the description of the video uh, the games for today so you can copy and paste them down and let me know down in the comments what you think is going to happen as well. And I will see you tomorrow for the return of England. Thank you very much for watching.